Well, the first step is you want to get your bucket and fill it up with some water. Second thing you want to do is add some dish soap. Now, I like using dish soap because it has wetting agents and keeps the glass wet longer so the squeegee can glide. What we want to do first is wipe down the frame. The cloth is a terry cloth and it's great because it holds a lot of water and a lot of dirt. Here's a window scrubber. Now, you want to squeeze out as much as you can. Sometimes water will drip down and if that happens, if you turn it like this, then the water will start to drip that way. So it'll give you a little bit more time, okay? Um, you don't want to saturate the glass because then you have more water to remove. But you want to wash the glass, okay? So you can see the simple step and how much fun this is. Now the next step is squeegee time. All right, okay. great. Okay, the squeegee is the most important tool in the professional window cleaner's arsenal. Okay, number one is you want to make sure that you're relaxed. You don't hold the squeegee with a firm grip, okay? You come up to the glass and you want to make sure that you get a 30 degree angle from the handle to the glass. Now how do you know that? Simply put two fingers underneath the handle and that will give you the proper angle of the squeegee. So is side to side the best way? Well that's the easiest way. There is another way. Uh, let me show you. Uh, you are going to need a lint free towel. What's and, that for? Well what you want to do is do what's called a quick wipe first and that's to create a dry edge at the top. Okay. Another way if you want to be a little more professional with it is take the squeegee up to the glass okay, with about, three, about a quarter of the edge right there and come across and that's called a cut in. Also making a dry edge? Correct. And once you create that dry edge then you want to make sure that you've got your dry squeegee blade on top of the glass and then you could just simply come straight down. Ah, so with the dry edge you're not leaving any drips behind that could come down over the clean glass. Correct. Now if you didn't have a dry edge at the top and you just use the squeegee you're going to have what's called rundowns. Now for the final step in the window cleaning process. This is the detailing part, critical part of the window cleaning process. The terry towel is great for wiping the frames. Okay, but notice water is left on the glass. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we introduce the new towel. This is called the microfiber towel. This is the third towel you're using. How many of these things are you going to introduce? Well, this is the final towel, but the best in our arsenal. Why so good? Um, let, me, let me show you. If this towel is wet, and what happens is most homeowners make the mistake of using a damp or wet towel to try to dry the glass. And what the microfiber does is even though the towel is damp or wet, it'll still dry perfectly. So the towel actually like works for you. Exactly. These are your typical French window panes, also known as divided lights. Now, Kevin, what I want you to do is I want you to wash these down. Okay? Now, it's a lot quicker if you wash them all down at the same time. Uh, rather than do one each individual. Okay. Okay. But try, when you do wash them down, you want to make sure you use a little bit of water, less water on the frame. And the reason why is I like to keep the water off the frame because wood absorbs water. I'll wring this out a couple times. All right. There All right. you go. That looks great. Okay, great. Now, Dwayne, I want you to take this squeegee. Okay. And this towel. Sure. And I want you to go ahead and squeegee the glass but hold that towel underneath the bottom of the squeegee and as you come across catch the water that's running down the channel of the squeegee and what this does is this prevents more water from coming down onto the wood uh, you want to keep the water off the wood as much as possible and at the same time you're doing two steps at once you're squeegeeing the glass and you're wiping the bottom of that frame okay good job you're doing excellent what do we need to think about as we work inside well first you want to protect your flooring keep that uh, floor dry. Okay. And we're also going to introduce another method. Um, spray method. No bucket. No bucket. Same cleaning solution just in a bottle. And basically you're just going to spray it down and this is a rough dry. Why wouldn't you use ammonia? I mean it seems so common. Well ammonia dries up so quickly and notice how it's still wet. It allows me time to get my detailing towel. You've okay. also lost the squeegee here. Yes, because we really don't need it um, for this because we're just going to, these are small panes and we're just going to detail them up here real quick. <laughs> but you use the two rags, I like to say. Use the two towels, yeah. <laughs>